Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can run a PHP file in web browser. So I have this PHP file here and if you double click on this PHP file, by default it will open in an editor. So I have configured .php files to open in VS Code. So it is now open in VS Code. In your case, it might be open in Notepad or any other editor. And even if it is open in browser, you will be seeing this content instead of this content being rendered as a web page in the browser. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is to run a PHP file, you need a PHP web server. So there are two methods that I'll show you to create a PHP server. The first one is just installing an extension in VS Code. So if you have created your PHP file in VS Code or if you have VS Code installed, just go to extensions and search for PHP server. Click on this PHP server and click on install. And once this is installed, you can just open your file or open your project in VS Code, right click and click on serve project. And once you have done that, your web page will be open in your web browser as you can see here. So this is the page, welcome to my PHP page, hello guest and the current date and time. This is what the code is here. So as you can see, it says welcome to my PHP page, hello and then current username and time. So this is the easy way where you can just install an extension in VS Code. But now if you don't have VS Code, you need to install a PHP server. So what you can do is you can install XAMPP or something called WAMP and those two softwares allow you to set up a PHP server. So you can go to your web browser and search for XAMPP and just go to their website and click on this first one itself. If you are on Windows, if you are on Linux, install this and if you are on OS X, you can download this and install this. So once you have downloaded XAMPP and then install it, press your Windows key and search for XAMPP, open XAMPP and then click on start and your PHP web server will start. Now, if you want to see step-by-step -step process on how to install XAMPP in your Windows system, check the link in the description below. Once you have your Apache server running, this server will serve PHP files. So what you need to do is go to your project folder. Okay, now I have my project folder here in desktop. Right click on this and copy this. Now we need to base this inside XAMPP directory. So I have XAMPP installed inside my C drive, inside XAMPP. Now this is the default installation directory. Then go inside htdocs and then paste your file. So this is the name, right? My web. So you can just copy your project name, my web. And once your Apache server is running, as you can see denoted by this green color here, go to your web browser and just type localhost and then your project name. Hit enter. And as you can see, now you can see your web page in browser. So the two methods that I've shown you are just to recap, installing an extension in VS Code. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can install a PHP web server and then run Apache server and then move your project inside this htdocs folder. And then you can just open any browser and then enter localhost slash your website name. You can do the same in Chrome also and it will open in Chrome also. So this is how you can run PHP in localhost in your browsers. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.